Okay, so I thought I'd try the Raspberry Pi imager uh, on Ubuntu. This is a completely fresh install of Ubuntu and I thought I'd have a look and see uh, if it was showing up in the App Store, if it's not, how to install it, uh, and also to try and write an image to a card using Ubuntu, because uh, I've tried it on Mac. Uh, I haven't tried it on Windows yet, but I'm sure it's pretty straightforward. So let's do a search for, I guess we'll just go imager. So, so let's try Raspberry Pi imager nothing found. So it doesn't look like it's on the Ubuntu App Store at the moment. Um, so what I'll do is just do it from the website and see how that works. So this will be the first time I've started up Firefox on this Ubuntu. Let's go with Raspberry Pi Imager. And then I've looked through this further down. Uh, it talks about being on the download page somewhere. Yeah, from our downloads page. And I'll put links to this in the description. So Raspberry Pi Imager for Ubuntu. So open with software install. Let's just go with that and see what happens. Ubuntu software is ready. Let's click on open file. Raspberry Pi, this is all very straightforward. Now, I, I haven't done this um, where I've downloaded something and installed it in Ubuntu before, but all this process seems incredibly simple. I was thinking it was going to be a bit more difficult than this. So Raspberry Pi Imaging Utility, graphical user interface to write disk images and format SD cards. I did read through the comments and someone had managed to format the SD card that their operating system was on. So I've got no notification. I can close down the web page now. It was looking too easy, wasn't it? So what could it possibly be waiting for? Okay, that didn't seem to work. So I'm going to try downloading it again because what did I do? I think I just opened it. Uh, so let's try downloading the file. Let's do exactly the same thing again. But I'll save it to the desktop or, or the downloads folder. So Raspberry Pi Imager, go to our downloads page for Ubuntu, save the file. Let's try that instead. Uh, where's it going to save it? Right, I would imagine it's as quick as that. Yeah, completed. So show all downloads. So it is in the downloads folder. So let's close that down and double click on it and see if that works. So that comes up with this and let's try and install it. I've got the same thing so I think I'm just going to leave it and uh, see if it works itself out. Okay, so none of that worked, so I'm going to restart and see what happens there. Other people have been using it in Ubuntu, so I'm a little bit concerned that it's only going to work on an x86 version of Ubuntu, but I was figuring it was going to work on a Pi, uh, as you can put Ubuntu on the Pi, it just, I just figured it was going to work, but, uh, but it doesn't look good. Okay, so I've restarted, um, and uh, I'll just give it another try, but I think what it is, is this version, yeah, it does... I, funny, in my head, I'm reading this as ARM64. Uh, it's uh, an AMD version, so what I think probably it is, is it's only meant for a, a desktop processor, not an ARM processor. And they could have pointed this out on the download site, uh, because obviously it comes up, everything looks like it's going to be okay. Does it say anything on here? I mean, it is saying AMD64. Uh, if I click Install, it says pending. I'm just going to try the website while it's doing it and see if there's any mention uh, to say that it doesn't work on the Pi because I figured that that was why they'd done it. So someone who's only got a Pi uh, has the ability to be able to write images and, and do all sorts of things. So now it's taking you just to the, to the main website. So it was under, it's under blog or downloads actually, downloads. Yeah, it just says Raspberry Pi Imager for, for Ubuntu. It could have been made clearer that it it's not going to work. Yeah, it doesn't make it clear. So it looks like, uh, please let me know if I'm wrong, but it looks like this Raspberry Pi Imager 
for Ubuntu isn't the Ubuntu that's on an ARM processor like the Pi uses. Uh, anyway, hope this helps. I didn't manage to install it, but uh, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.